she, she wasn't as big as a popcorn fart. And she was trying to hold this man down. Morning, got the cold out of my eye. And then I took a walk outside and I stepped on a flower. Good morning, people. Friday morning, thankfully. It's Friday the 15th, the big Jake Paul and Mike Tyson fight, right? You know, it's kind of, to me anyway, and don't hate me for this, but to me, it's just a show of if you have enough money and clout, you can weasel your way into anything. And, and everybody, to some degree, even like real professional, like law enforcement or politicians, they're all leaning into this, this, whatever this is, right? They, it, it, everybody wants that little bit of cloud. Everybody wants that little bit of, little bit of fame, a little bit of recognition. They want to be on that screen. They want you to be the one scrolling up to see them or whatever. But to me, it, it's making a mockery of, and if I was Tyson, I wouldn't do it. I don't, I don't, I doubt the guy needs the money, but w wouldn't you just want to live out your glory days as the old dude that's a legend and just go out that way? Especially if you have enough money to do it. I'm going to come back and entertain this bullshit. I mean, this is a 100% a favor to this Paul guy, right? And don't get me wrong. There's going to be people that's like, dude, he trained really hard, man. Like, it's not like he just bought his way. He, he still bought his way into it. Because let me tell you the difference, man. Like, Tyson fought people in his age group, his weight group, you know, all that, right? People that was right alongside of him to get where he's at. I don't think his Paul guy's ever even had anything close to uh, a, an even fight. Well, there was one that was close to it and he got knocked out, right? I mean, am I saying that right? But <laughs> it's a Disney star kid who figured out this social media, figured out how to make himself wealthy, and then was like, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like a little rich kid going to his dad and being like, what do you want to do, son? Can you buy me into pro boxing? I want. Who do you want to fight? Um, a, who's the legends? Tyson. All right, let's fight him. Well, all right, son. I'll write the check. I mean, I know his dad didn't do it. But you know what I'm saying? Like you're just buying your way into it. But and everybody's got something funny to say about it. Everybody's like, oh, it's a lose lose. It's not even worth it because if he does win against Tyson, then he beat up an old man. If he loses against Tyson, then he got beat up by an old man and. Everybody's doing all this talking, all this shit talking, right? But, you know, good and well, you're going to watch it. Everybody's going to watch it. And that's that's the whole point. Uh, is everybody, you want to do the most ridiculous thing so that you're the one that they're tuning into, right? Even somebody is old school and down to earth, a good old country boy like Sheriff Grady Judd. I mean, now tell me, Addy, that's just a good old boy right there. Good old Deputy Sheriff Grady Judd. Even he kind of indulges up, not kind of. I mean, every time he makes a funny bust or, or does something, he wants to come out and do his press conference. And I'm usually with him. I'm usually like, he's my favorite, right? He's the, the hero sheriff. He's always taking out these drug dealers and these cartel members and all this stuff that's cancer on our country. But... Man, this last one, man. I'm not with you on this one, Grady. We're going to talk about Operation Skin So Soft. People can't get a rub and tug anymore? And we re decided on that title because he said, Oh, your skin's so soft, you must work inside. Well, sometimes we work in massage parlors. People can't get a little happy in it, Grady? It is funny hearing an old country boy trying to pronounce these Japanese. <laughs> so we don't know if her name is Hinga Hung or Jinx Hung or whatever, but this is who she is. But hey, imagine the undercover officer. That's what I was telling my wife last night. Imagine the undercover agent that had to go in there, right? When old Ching Chong's trying to go down on his ding dong. Now, this was supposed to be a legitimate massage. My undercover agents ask only for a regular legal massage. But she started upcharging and inappropriately handling, in fact, tried to have full sex. But you got, hey, but you got to get, for, it's for evidence, right? Well, I mean, 
the, the act has to happen for it to hold up in court. And imagine the trial, right? When he's sitting up there on the stand and then, so what happened next? So Ching Chong uh, grabbed some lotion. It was warming lotion. I noticed that after a few pulls, it warmed it, heated up a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Guilty. But dude, I don't know, man. But it's all, it's all televised, right? It's all clout. It all, you know. Gee whiz. I, I want my part. I want to be a cop, kind of. That'd be cool, right? Literally, like, go home. What'd you do today? Eh, had to go down there to the uh, massage parlor. And, uh, let's just say it's an open and shut case. <laughs> anyway, back to work today. Back to work. Back to work. God, I know I'm going to come back into a shit show. You guys know what I'm talking about. When If you're going for a few days it all kinds of things have happened i lost the guy not to no fault of his own but he just turns out he can't be medically cleared to drive a company vehicle whatever uh the the truck broke down twice they were like hey we didn't want to bother you unless it was an emergency but uh the brakes aren't working on the truck so we felt like that's yeah that's yeah that's an emergency so <laughs> touche uh, but yeah, I, I don't know, man. I got some hiring to do. I got some, I, I'm, I got a freaking stack of paperwork. I guarantee I got to go through, but, and it's raining again, but guess what? I got a roof on my house, baby. I'll talk to y'all later. To the point that he had to push her off and start to get up to leave. Well, this place is crazy. It just seems like a safety hazard. Pretty cool though. You can drive a train car in here. I'm going to keep it real. I really don't even want to drop this phone off but I have no choice. I've already recorded like the majority of the first half of the day vlogs on it, but I'm right by the cell phone store now. I'm gonna drop it off. I'm gonna record myself going in there doing that. I'm trying to think logistically here because I can't really record picking it up or what they say because I gotta hand it to them, so. Yeah. Well, several hours have passed. Just got here to the cell phone store to pick the iPhone up again which I am uh, currently recording on. So, what they're telling me is it had nothing to do with them changing the screen out. Now, matter of fact, what was wrong with my phone and the reason it wouldn't charge through the port is that I had dirt in my port. Stop the cap. <laughs> yeah, for real. Stop the cap, man. I whatever could be. Uh, and then in, in that case, I'm tripping, right? I mean, I got a cool little cord, wireless chart, whatever. And this thing I have used it quite a bit. It's still 61%. Um, I, bro, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. But I will say that I was not aware. It, they did not make it perfectly clear. And I just said it to him, and maybe that's me being a little bit smart ass, but I said, hey, I tell you what's a cool idea. You could tell people um, that it's not genuine iPhone parts and that your phone will never be the same and it voids warranty and things of that nature. And then I was like, hey man, can I please get an update on my son's phone? And it, there's like a little partition wall, like it's not, it's just like a little wooden shelf. And the dude walks behind there and I can hear everything, you know? And he's like, hey, he's wanting to know, uh, do you have an update on his son's phone, the other iPhone Max, whatever? And he's like, man, I really don't know. Man, I'd have to, I have to look into that and find out what's going on with it. And then the dude comes out and was like, he's really busy and just doesn't know right now what's going on with it. What do you do with that information? Anyway, I'm on my way to the house right now. I'm gonna go and get this base together. Dude, if it's the last thing I do, I'm really, this is what I wanna do. I wanna do this for myself. I just talked to an old school base head actually in the State Electric Supply Store. Cause I went and bought me some little lug things and I'll show you guys what I wanna do with these later. So let's get to the house and let's get this base going, baby. Woo. Well, I mean, to be fair, you would think since this is the nicest vehicle I ever had, if I'm gonna, run a subsystem in it. I'm going to do it right and run it along the factory wire loom. 
What is... Is that my brake lines put together with two compression fittings? Come on, Ford. A good place to put a line lock, though, for the back wheel. Mission complete. Ooh. Ain't got two of them 12-inch hitters right behind him. Let's test it out. Get that copyright. better too than a nice tight vehicle y'all know what i'm talking about that's crazy oh we're gonna have some fun with this and the install is clean just like that we seen it through baby we stuck it out i stayed out here later when i wanted to but it's all hooked up it's all functioning properly the hardest part was trusting whether the forms was right about which two wires and i couldn't get to the harness that goes to the back uh door speakers so i had to just splice into the harness and find and and luckily the form was right about which ones were which and i spliced into it so i'd have a high input signal in the back we did it baby and walmart is stepping their game up on fuses nowadays i'm lightweight and pressed with this I just need to find somewhere to fasten it to, but it's actually weather tight on both ends of it. And of course I just got it bolted up there, but that's all I need. I know that's some amateur shit. I already get it, but let's get the bump and going. Let's find all the bass songs that we used to love to listen to. Let's make a compilation of them, jam out and just another day towards paying that truck off, baby. Woo! 